हेलो गाइस वी आर बैक विद आर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस गो थ्रू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यू एम टी एस दैट इज नथिंग बट यूनिवर्सल मोबाइल टेली कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम सो टू बी क्लियर दिस इज द थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ द टेली कम्युनिकेशन गाइस सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ थ्री जी सो बेसिकली प्रीवियसली फ्यू इयर्स एगो वी यूज टू यूज अ थ्री जी सिम्स राइट और मोबाइल यू कैन से सो दैट इज अथिंग बट थ्री जी ओके सो इवन टूडे आई थिंक वी आर यूजिंग थ्री जी ओके I'm a bit confused with these uh, these guys because nowadays even we are getting some phones with 4G, right? Yes. So even nowadays, sorry, even nowadays we are using 3G only, guys. Okay, sorry for my confusion. Okay. So it is a third generation of broadband mobile cellular system which is a uh, based on GSM. So remember one thing, guys. So any telecommunication mechanism or system always uh, depends on GSM. because the gsm is father of all of them you can assume in that way so basically from gsm only gprs emerged from gsm only umts is emerging from gsm only the next topic that is nothing but imt 2000 will also emerge so you can say that some upgradations for them in terms of data uh, the bandwidth rate or in terms of some additional features like sending data internet connection and all those things right yes okay so it uses a packet and a circuit switching transmission so you might be having an doubt so why we are clearly discussing about this packet and circuit switching basically in umts you can use it for calls like voice over calls or video calls or any type of calls similarly you can also send data you can also use internet so all these features are integrated into this guys so that is the reason why it is the best one if you ask me okay yes so the architecture will look like this so basically the architecture resembles of a few things right yes so you might have observed it right yes so this is our mobile so the same gsm architecture with some small small modifications you can say okay so first of all let us observe the architecture then i'll be giving you an example then we'll be moving on to the theory okay yes so let us start okay so you are a user okay so you went to a store and you bought a sim you registered it you gave your pan number aadhar number something and you got the sim okay so that sim is a nothing but the u sim guys so u sim so where i wrote i think i did not write it so basically u sim okay here i wrote so u sim is nothing but the user's sim okay so now you got the user sim okay so now you slowly went to the mobile shop and you brought a mobile it might be a smartphone it might be an android phone it might be iphone any phone okay that is a nothing but your mobile equipment guys m e mobile equipment okay so now you have successfully a mobile and the sim so next what you will be doing you will be inserting that sim into the mobile so once you insert them and you combine them into a single device it becomes your ue that is a nothing but user equipment so the user will be using this for some purpose got it yes so now you successfully got your mobile phone okay so once you got your mobile phone your mobile phone you kept a particular sim right so it might be airtel jio bsnl any sim right yes so these are sim sims will have their base stations in your area okay so a particular area this area we will be calling it as cell guys so each cell will have at least one sorry at max also one base station exactly in the center covering the whole cell guys okay so here we will be calling these cells as node b guys okay i don't know why they gave that particular name rather than bts base stations okay but even in the books it is given as node b only okay so once the call has been received sorry sorry once it is connected to the node b then it is connected to rnc so if you recall this is see your you are recalling something right yes this is controller guys okay so rnc is nothing but a radio network controller got it it is used to control the calls and all those things to manage them to route them where to go the next call where where like that it will organize them so the major twist here is here we can have multiple controllers guys so previously we used to have a single controller in gsm as well as in gprs here you can have multiple controllers that is the major change here okay so these are connected again to two different paths okay so assume that even you are having 2g you want to just make a call to your friend it is just a voice call 
so in that situation there should be some mechanism which takes you to voice call right so that is a nothing but this make this path guys that is nothing but from your from here you will be going to msc from here you will be going to gateway and after that you will be reaching your voice network so here msc is nothing but the mobile switching center the same switching center which we know previously okay so from that you will be passing through the gateway and you will be connecting to the network and you will be having a call and everything will be done okay so assume that you want to transfer some data or you want to download something you want to watch something on internet or something so in that situation you will be going through this path to gsn after that ggsn so here gsn is a nothing but gpr as a support node guys okay so in some books it is written as a sgsn so sgsn is a nothing but service gpr as a support node okay so don't get confused that why i have written gsn only like that okay yes so here this is nothing but the gateway as usual okay so through the gateway you will be moving on to the packet data network area so where they where there can be any kind of thing so i have written each and every full form clearly guys because most of the time we'll be confusing with these full forms only okay so i told you this whole device will be calling it as ue similarly this whole device is called as utran if you want to pronounce it you can pronounce it as utran okay yes so umts a terrestrial radio access network so basically this is the main component right so you can say is utran is the whole heart or the brain of the umts remember that okay yes so now let us go through individual definitions of each and every module guys okay so i think everyone got a clear idea already on all the components right okay so let us just go through the theory ones so u is nothing but the user equipment it has two components me and us im that is nothing but user sim and mobile equipment so whenever a user places in or inserts a sim into his mobile phone it becomes the mobile equipment okay sorry it forms the user equipment okay so u e is connected to node b which is almost the same as a bts guys okay so utran umts a terrestrial radio access network that is nothing but the brain of umts guys remember that okay so it has a two components node b which is a similar to bts of gsm okay so it helps in transfer and receiver of data got it yes okay similarly the last component is nothing but rnc okay so rnc is the controller guys to, to which side the data should go either the call either the data transfer okay yes so many node bs are connected to one rnc rnc is the same as a bsc just to control where to send the data it will be there okay guys whenever i am using the word data in this particular topic please understand it as a call data as well as the normal internet data okay yes so here we have two paths one is for voice call and the other is for data transfer if a user wants to call it call it is forwarded to pstn that is nothing but public switched telephone network that is nothing but voice network via gsm and sorry via msg sorry msc and ga msc okay else if user wants to connect to internet or transfer data it is forwarded to pdn that is nothing but packet data network via gsm or sgsm and ggsm okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about this how this umts work right yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we'll be going through the last version you can say of gsm that is nothing but imt 2000 so basically i did not find that much detailed information about this imts so i don't even i didn't even found the architecture diagram guys so that is the reason why we just to going through the introduction and the main goal of this imts IMT okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching